getting more details from the from the families uh, of the astronauts. Of course, they're overjoyed, and uh, there are great celebrations going on in their homes right now. Uh, astronauts uh, were at both homes uh, with the wives, uh, and uh, they're celebrating right this minute. Mrs. Lovell watched the re-entry on a television set in uh, Astronaut Lovell's study. You know, she had with her Neil Armstrong and Ed Aldrin, Charles Pete Conrad, all of whom had walked on the moon, and uh, they were there uh, with her along with the astronaut's mother, Mrs. Blanche Lovell, and their minister, the Reverend Donna Raish. They were all there, and when the chutes appeared, uh, Mrs. Lovell jumped to her feet and ran into the uh, ran into the den where the television picture is said to be a little bit better. In the other room, she planted herself on the floor next to Mrs. Robert Gilruth, the wife of the director of the Manned Space Center, and then it splashed down, a roar and a cheer went up that the NASA protocol officer with them said must have been heard out in the street. He said to the newsman, you had to hear the cheer, didn't you? <laughs> and the two Lovell girls, Barbara 16 and Susie 11, he said were quiet. Uh, and concerned during the uproar, they didn't say a word, said the NASA official. The Lovell son, Jeff, four, was uh, just kind of participated in the uproar without perhaps knowing what it was really all about. J-15, their other son, is in Military Academy, St. John's in Delafield, Wisconsin. Presumably, he watched the splash down there. Mrs. Hayes uh, had Alan Bean, uh, the fourth astronaut, to walk on the moon with her. And uh, astronaut Gerald Carr was there with her and their minister, the Reverend John Fellers. Her sister, Mrs. Susan Dunkel of Biloxi, Mississippi, and uh, she had her three children in the bedroom where the television set is uh, around her at the time. They're expecting their fourth child, the Hazes, in uh, June. And out in Denver, Colorado, uh, the, uh, uh, the John Swigerts, uh, father and mother, said that we feel like the whole world is with us here. It's just wonderful, said Mrs. Swigert. And they sent champagne out to uh, the newsmen. They said, that was the most beautiful sight I've ever seen, Mrs. Hayes said. I'm jubilant and thankful. And uh, Mrs. Lovell said, I'm so relieved. It's beautiful. And it's uh, interesting now that we're beginning to get the first word on really how worried they were in mission control in Houston. Almost inevitable that we would hear these words after the landing. Chris Kraft, uh, the deputy director of the Manned Spacecraft Center, I uh, told uh, UPI, there's no question but that everybody's mood has been tenseness and concern for the lives of the crew. That's what we've all been working toward for the past four days. We didn't have time to sit down and torture ourselves with worrying about what went wrong. It was gratifying to see the LEM lifeboat procedures work out so well. Everybody is indeed happy that they're back. Perhaps now we could look again at that magnificent picture of the splashdown of Apollo 13 as we recorded it on videotape. Recovery passing to 1,000 feet. Another chair in the control room as we had splashed down. Well, the one splashed down at this time, the uh, three shoes are displaced in the water. the way we saw it. 
at uh, 142, 54, 44 in the flight plan. That's G-E-T, ground elapsed time. 142 hours and 54 minutes and 44 seconds from the time that we watched them lift off at 2.18 p.m., 2.13 p.m. Uh, from uh, the Manned Space Center in Florida last Saturday. They were not expected back until Tuesday. Today, they would have been uh, rejoining uh, from the uh, lunar landing, the command module flying overhead, and then another day in uh, moon orbit to take some pictures for future flights, and uh, they would have come on home on Tuesday. As it is, they're home a little bit early. The mission uh, incomplete and unsuccessful, but a happy landing, getting three astronauts back safely after the gravest crisis that uh, we have experienced since the space age opened in 1961. Official time of landing uh, by the normal clock on the wall was seven minutes and 44 seconds after one o'clock Eastern time, about an hour after dawn out there in the Pacific where they came down, 540 miles southeast of Samoa. They now uh, will be uh, taken to Samoa. As the carrier gets closer tomorrow afternoon, they'll be airlifted by helicopter uh, to Pango Pango. And then uh, from there, uh, they will be flown to Houston, arriving back at Houston uh, with their loved ones and their friends and colleagues of the Manned Space Center, the people who did such a great job for them. Uh, they will be greeted at about 9 o'clock at Ellington Field there right by the Manned Space Center. Their families, of course, will be there, and very possibly uh, President Nixon will be there as well. And so all the long hours and the days of waiting, watching, and worrying by the whole world are over. And what a beautiful ending. Everything today went as smoothly and as simply as it had so often uh, gone badly since that first terrifying accident on Monday night. Much still remains to be learned about Apollo 13 and what did go wrong with it, but one thing already is clear, will go down as a tribute to the spirit and the resourcefulness, certainly, of the men in the spacecraft and on the ground who eventually won their long and their difficult fight against tragedy. Also never to be forgotten, that ugly but wonderful piece of machinery, the lunar module, Aquarius, certainly it will win its place among the heroes of the space age. We will, of course, uh, return to the air and report on the regular news programs any further developments aboard the carrier and the return home of the astronauts. This is Walter Cronkite, CBS News Space Center, New York.